My name is Lonnie Welch, and I'd like to introduce you to your 600NC3T Clearstream Wastewater Treatment Plant. This tank here is made up of three chambers. You have the pre-treatment tank, you have the treatment plant or the aerobic chamber, and you have your pump station. Water enters the treatment plant through a Schedule 40 pipe into a pre-treatment tank or trash tank. The trash tank acts just like a regular septic tank. It lets all the non-organic settle out and the large solids before the water goes over into your treatment plant. You have your air compressor. Your air compressor is also vital because it is injecting air, which is the lifeblood of this unit, into the aerobic chamber. In the aerobic chamber, this oxygen is transferred into the water through fine bubble diffusion, and it makes the bacteria grow, and it digests all of the organic material inside your plant. The Clearstream unit, of course, has a conical clarifier. It's a cone inside your treatment unit. On the outside of the cone is your mixed liquor, which comes in from the pretreatment tank, which is your wastewater. That's where it meets the air that's being introduced by your air compressor. The air turbulence mixes everything up in there, keeps everything stirred up. We don't have any dead spots in the unit, no blank spots because of the shape of the cone and where we inject the air. It treats the water as the water is treated. The lighter water comes up through your clarifier. There is no movement in the clarifier. Each level is a little cleaner, a little cleaner, a little cleaner. At the very top, of course, is the cleanest water. And it goes out through your pump tank through gravity. So every time a gallon enters the unit, a gallon goes into your pump tank. You also have a control panel. Your control panel gives you an audible and visual alarm to tell you if you have a problem with your system. There are several types of dispersal systems with your aerobic treatment plant. One, you could have a gravity feed system that is feeding into basically like a conventional drain field. The second would be above ground spray. You should have between two to four sprinkler heads, depending on the size of your unit, spraying the treated wastewater on your property. The third could be drip irrigation. Drip is not seen, it's underground. It's a dispersal system that injects the wastewater under the, under the soil. If you're doing above ground spray, which this unit that we have here today is, you are required to disinfect the, waste, the treated wastewater before it leaves the treatment unit. This can be done with UV, chlorinator with chlorine tablets or liquid chlorinators. You must have a disinfecting device operating properly to kill the bacteria before it goes onto your landscape. The water that is dispersed upon your property is class one water. That means that it has no odor, it is colorless, and there is nothing that you can see in it with the naked eye. If you have an odor when it's sprayed, you need to contact your maintenance provider at that time. All units carry a two-year warranty from the date of installation. They also carry a two-year maintenance program, which should be provided to you by your installer. If you have a problem within those first two years, you should be contacting the person that installed your unit because it is under warranty for the first two years.